Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Last week we looked at the Interface 2 from Pioneer DJ, the first dedicated audio interface for their Rekordbox DJ performance software. Fills a very important niche within their lineup. Check the review out if you haven't seen it already, we'll link it below. This week we're moving on to something slightly different, but still in the kind of accessible budget end of Rekordbox DJ hardware. We're looking at the DJM250 Mark II. Now, I actually played with and reviewed the DJM250 years and years ago, the first version of this, and I was really impressed. But to be honest, in terms of what you're getting with the Mark II, it's like a quantum leap forward. They've really added so much to this mixer over the previous version, but still we're talking about a pretty affordable piece of kit. Street price around about $350 with the full record box DJ software and DVS included with that as well. So yeah, fair bit to talk about here. Let's get down to it. The DJM250 Mark II has a reassuringly solid metal construction all round, and you certainly feel like you're getting your money's worth from the build quality. It's roughly the same size as the first DJM250, although slightly narrower at a hair over 9 inches because there are no rack mounting ears on the side. Sound quality is very good, whether playing external sources or using the built-in audio interface. That's got a slightly lower specification than the Interface 2 and some other DJM mixers, with a 48 rather than 96 kHz sampling rate, but that's not really something you're going to notice on anything but a very, very high-end sound system. Certainly, I was really happy with the sound in my testing, nice and clean, with no obvious flaws. Being a two-channel bedroom mixer, the inputs and outputs are fairly limited, but there's plenty here for most home setups. Master output is on XLR connectors or RCAs, with recording taken care of via the built-in sound card. I gave the DJM450 a hard time about the lack of a booth output, as I do feel a $700 mixer ought to be able to cope with a bar or a small club environment, but I won't level that complaint at the 250 Mark II. This is a bedroom device through and through. Like the 450, the mixer also has an external power supply rather than a built-in one, but again, no complaints with that. The EQs are full kill with decent musical cutoff points, and I definitely like the way the high-low combo filter has improved over the previous generation, with the parameter knob offering precise control over the amount of resonance. One thing to note is that unlike some record box hardware, the 250 Mark II filter is strictly in hardware and can't be changed to a different effect in the software. There's a dedicated mic input with a tone control and an unbalanced jack input, and the Q system has both sizes of jack socket and a Q master blend knob. Some people will be disappointed with the lack of a split Q option, and I would have liked to see that too for late night practice when you're using headphones alone. The two main channels can be switched between phono, line and USB, and there's a third auxiliary input with a choice of line or USB. And that brings us to the audio interface side of things, and that's surprisingly accomplished for such a basic mixer. The DJM250 Mark II does ship with the full Rekordbox DJ performance software and the DVS plugin, so you're ready to go out of the box, unless you're a turntable user, in which case you'll need to pick up a pair of control records too. As with the Interface 2, the software recognises the mixer straight away and will assign the channels automatically. Because of that third AUX channel, you can run the sample player out to the AUX and even assign a third virtual deck to that if you want, running in internal mode. The really cool thing about that third channel though is that it goes both ways and so you can record your whole set directly into Rekordbox DJ in great quality with zero fuss. Very useful for a bedroom setup where you will want to be recording yourself often. One thing I would not usually expect from a mixer in this price range is that the effects in Rekordbox DJ can be used post fader on the up faders with the 250 Mark II, meaning you can activate an effect like echo in the software, drop the fader and the echo will tail out. To operate like this, the up faders must be controlling the software in USB mode, not audio directly, much like the Mixar's Duo does. The same does not apply to the crossfader though, closing that will cut off the tail. But I'm fine with that, having any kind of post fader functionality is a real bonus at this price, and scratchers will prefer to keep the latency on the crossfader as low as possible, so this is a fair compromise between the two. Speaking of the crossfader, it's one of Pioneer DJ's Magvel units, now found across their range, and it works great. Super nice feel, three-way curve adjustment, and a hamster switch should mean most tastes are covered, and the cutting distance is good and short, particularly after the latest firmware upgrade. So there you go my take on the DJM250 Mark II. You know, overall, build quality, sound quality, 
performance features, all really nice on here. The audio interface sounds fantastic and crucially has got that third channel, which I think is very important for a bedroom setup to be able to record yourself quickly and easily. You know, part of the learning process is to hear yourself back and also to get demos out there quickly as well. Yeah, I like that simplicity going on. Value wise, it's superb. 350 bucks, you've got the full record box DJ plus the DVS plugin included. The only complaint I have when it comes to what's included is the fact you don't get any control vinyl in the box. You know, if you're a turntable user, you want that, you're gonna to have to budget a few extra bucks for a pair of the control records. But overall, yeah, the value is just superb. The build, the sound, the performance features for the money, you know, having those post fader effects on the up faders, I did not expect that at all. And so I definitely won't complain about not having it on the cross fader because I didn't expect it on the up faders. That's a real nice bonus. Yeah, if you're looking to get into Rekordbox DJ and you want a mixer to do that with, this is great value. If you want a standalone mixer just in general, just a nice, simple two-channel mixer, nice filters, this will also do the job for you there as well. So yeah, can't hesitate to recommend the 250 enough. I really would struggle to think of a mixer in this price range that I would take over this. Yeah, they've nailed this one. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.